Retrieval interleaved generation and retrieval augmented generation are both advanced techniques in the field of artificial intelligence that enhance the capabilities of language models by integrating retrieval mechanisms. However, they differ in their approaches and applications. RIG, on the other hand, focuses on generating responses that interleave references and claims. RAG combines the generative capabilities of large language models with the precision of external data sources. Retrieval augmented generation is a method that combines the generative capabilities of large language models with the precision of external data sources. This technique enhances the accuracy and reliability of generative AI models by fetching facts from external sources, allowing the model to produce more informed and contextually relevant responses. RAG operates by retrieving relevant documents or data based on a query and then using that information to generate a coherent and contextually appropriate response. This approach is particularly useful for knowledge-intensive tasks, as it allows the model to ground its outputs in factual information. Retrieval interleaved generation, on the other hand, focuses on generating responses that interleave references and claims. This method aims to improve the transparency and reliability of the generated text by providing fine-grained citations alongside the generated content. In RIG, the model generates text while simultaneously referencing the retrieved passages, which helps in grounding the generated content in specific sources. This interleaving of references allows users to trace back the information and verify the claims made by the model, enhancing trust in the AI's outputs. The comparison between baseline, retrieval interleaved generation, and retrieval augmented generation approaches highlights significant differences in how they generate responses containing statistical data. The baseline approach simply presents statistics without providing supporting evidence, lacking transparency and reliability I in contrast, RIG and RAG utilize data commons to source authoritative data, enhancing the credibility of the responses. The intermediary steps involved in these approaches are represented by dotted boxes in diagrams. Specifically, RIG incorporates a strategy where it intersperses statistic tokens with natural language questions that are well-suited for retrieval from data commons. This interleaving process allows RIG to create a more dynamic interaction with the data. On the other hand, RAG takes a more refined approach by generating detailed natural language questions that are specifically designed to be answered by data commons. Once these questions are produced, they are incorporated into prompts that guide the model in generating the final response. This method enables RAG to provide responses that are not only accurate but also contextually relevant, as the questions are closely aligned with the statistical data being retrieved. Retrieval interleaved generation is a sophisticated pipeline designed to enhance the interaction between large language models and structured data sources like data commons. The pipeline consists of three main components, a fine-tuned model for generating natural language queries, a post-processor that converts these queries into structured data queries, and a querying mechanism that retrieves statistical answers from data commons. Model fine-tuning is the first step, where the LLM is trained to produce natural language queries that describe the statistical values it generates. This approach allows for more concise queries compared to formal structured queries, which is beneficial given the vast number of variables in the data commons database. The fine-tuning process involves using an instruction response dataset, where approximately 700 user queries are matched with statistical responses from a more capable LLM such as Gemini 1.5 Pro. The model is prompted to generate natural language calls that include essential details like place names and metrics. Query conversion is the second component, where the natural language queries are transformed into structured queries. This involves breaking down the queries into statistical variables, places, and attributes, which are then mapped to corresponding IDs in data commons. Various NLP techniques are employed for this task, including semantic search for variables and named entity recognition for places. Finally, the fulfillment stage translates the structured queries into API calls to data commons, returning a numeric value alongside the original LLM-generated statistic. This dual presentation allows users to fact-check the LLM's output, enhancing the reliability of the information provided. Future work will explore different user experiences for displaying these results, such as side-by-side -side comparisons and interactive elements. Retrieval augmented generation pipelines consist of several key components designed to enhance the interaction between user queries and data retrieval systems. 
Initially, a user query is processed by a fine-tuned language model, which generates relevant natural language queries tailored for data commons. These queries are then executed against the data commons natural language interface to retrieve pertinent tables. The next step involves prompting a long context LLM, specifically Gemini 1.5 Pro, with both the original user query and the retrieved data. Given the potential length of the input, averaging 38,000 tokens and reaching up to 348,000 tokens for broad comparison queries, utilizing a long context LLM is crucial for effective processing. To produce data commons queries, LLM is fine tuned to transform user queries into a structured format compatible with data commons. This process leverages the capabilities of a larger LLM, which generates queries that adhere to specific formats, such as what is metric in place. While this method yields relevant queries, it may not always return data due to limitations in data commons coverage. An alternative approach, which aimed to generate queries using a comprehensive list of data commons variables, proved less effective, as it struggled to accurately extract relevant statistical variables. Once the data commons queries are generated, they are mapped to known query templates to retrieve structured data tables. For instance, a query like, what is the per-country life expectancy, would return a table detailing countries alongside their respective life expectancy metrics. After gathering the relevant tables, a new prompt is crafted that includes the original user query and the serialized table data. This step also necessitates the use of long-context LLMs to accommodate the extensive input size, ensuring that the final response is coherent and informative for the user. We can compare RAG and RIG in three aspects which are approach to information retrieval, focus on transparency and use cases. In approach to information retrieval, RAG retrieves external data to inform the generation process but does not necessarily interleave references within the generated text. RIG explicitly integrates references into the generated output, providing a more transparent and verifiable response. In focus on transparency aspect, RAG enhances the accuracy of responses by grounding them in retrieved facts. RIG emphasizes the importance of citation and reference, making it easier for users to validate the information presented. In use cases aspect, RAG is widely used for applications requiring accurate and contextually relevant information, such as question answering and summarization. RIG is particularly beneficial in scenarios where the credibility of information is paramount, such as academic writing or legal documentation. In summary, while both RAG and RIG enhance the capabilities of language models through retrieval mechanisms, RAG focuses on improving the accuracy of generated content, whereas RIG prioritizes transparency and verifiability by interleaving references within the generated text.